Zambian doctors have successfully conducted four surgeries to remove tumors from the brain following a training conducted by the 23rd batch of Chinese medical team sent to the African country. Kachinga Sichizia, a senior neurosurgeon at the University Teaching Hospital, said the operations were done following months of training in which local doctors were trained to conduct endoscopic pituitary surgery through the nose. This is a very significant week um, in the history of neurosurgery in Zambia uh, because uh, we've been able to do four operations to remove the pituitary tumor using the transphenoidal pathway. It's a very complex operation. About a year ago, we, we received the new Chinese medical team, the 23rd Chinese medical team. And one of their members, Dr. Chen, is a, a neurosurgeon who is a, who is a specialist in pituitary tumor surgery. And he's been training our team to do these operations through the nose. So for the last two months, we've been preparing for what has happened in the last one week. So this week, we did four transphenoid operations to remove these tumors. And we were all very successful. And now going forward, no one will go to, to will be, will be sent abroad for treatment anymore. We'll treat our own people here because now our young doctors know how to do it. Elijah Katembo, a neurosurgeon at the UTH, said he has learned a lot from the Chinese medical team. We've learned the technique of how to open, how to go into the, the, the brain, how to close and remove the tumor. So I'm very much grateful and I feel so lucky and I'm so happy. Alex Makupi, Director of Clinical Care at the Zambian Ministry of Health, thanked China for sending medical teams that have helped strengthen the country's health system. It is gratifying that we are starting to see this problem being sorted out locally within the UTH. The desire of government is that we reduce the number of referrals into India and other parts of the world. For the past 45 years, Chinese medical teams have worked in different hospitals across the African country and interacted well with their local counterparts.